Yo what's up YouTube, how is it going Captain Bungie and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to explain why you should buy Destiny 2 and what kind of game it is. Maybe some of you don't know anything about Destiny yet, but I'm going to help you decide on buying the game or not. So I'm going to explain what Destiny 2 is all about, I'm also doing this because I'm going to upload a lot of Destiny videos when it launch and I want to let you guys know the things I love about Destiny and the things I don't like. So this video is going to help you all decide what you should do. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. With all said, let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's start off with saying if you play Destiny 1 and you love playing it, uh, Destiny 2 is going to be the same, like almost the same for you. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy that game as well. First, I'm going to tell you what the story is about, like the campaign story. So, humanity's last safe city has fallen to an overwhelming force led by Gaul. The imposing commander of the Brutal Red Legion, he has tipped the city's guardians of their powers and forced the survivors to flee. You will venture the mysterious unexplored world of a solar system to discover, to discover arsenal of weapons and devastating new combat abilities to defeat the Red Legion and confirm the Gaul. You must reunite humanity's scattered heroes stand together and fight back to reclaim our home. Destiny is a game where you will have to invest a lot of time in, that's for sure. From leveling your character to farm for that sweet exotic loot, Destiny is a time investing game. Destiny 2 is going to include 4 new worlds to explore, Earth, Titan, Nessus and Io. The mechanics are still feeling the same as it was in Destiny 1, they also keep true to Destiny 1 itself by having a lot of stuff returning into Destiny 2. When you start your game you will be able to pick one of the three classes, the Hunter, the Titan or Warlock. Every character has a good and bad things. One thing I can say for sure is Pv in PvE it doesn't matter that much what class you're going to pick. For PvP it is going to make a big difference, like in the trials and all these uh, competitive modes. The things I love the most about Destiny is the fact that it is a time investing game. You're starting from scratch as a level 1 character and you're walking up to the max you will have to grind strikes, pvp, weekly and daily challenges and raids all over and over again to regain that sweet exotic loot item that you want to get your hands on. Destiny is going to give you the best experience when you're playing with your friends and uh, there's a lot more to share, a lot more good stuff, juicy stuff about Destiny that I love about this game but I will have to crop up the video here because it's going to take a long time to talk about everything that I like about this game but I can tell you guys it is definitely worth buying this game even if it is like for only a year of playing and you're not going to play the year 2 it is definitely worth buying this game just to play this because it is an awesome an awesome experience to play this game I love this game I love the work that Bungie does that's the same for my name Captain Bungie I love the work Bungie does like Halo on the Xbox all that stuff that they do amazing stuff what to do so now I'm going to tell you the stuff that I don't like but this is for Destiny 1 maybe things are changing in Destiny 2 I'm not too sure yet but this is for Destiny 1 the thing that I didn't like first of all you will have to need you will need PS Plus and an online connection otherwise you can't play at all and uh, that's that's kind of like that's not that stupid, like in Overwatch you also need to have PS Plus and online connection. But it kind of sucks, like in Black Ops you, or Black Ops 3, uh, you will have this, this local play. You can just go play even if you don't have online and PS Plus, but that's that's not the case for Destiny. And also, I c the, the DLC system is kind of stupid. When you get Destiny 2 with Season Pass, you're granted for the like DLC content for a good and long time. But when year 2 goes live, it feels like a backstab that the game is selling with every DLC for less than you bought it. Uh, and also that sweet exotic loot stuff you found for, like when DLC, like year 2 is, is going to be live, you're basically the, all the shit you did, all that beast and fucking grinding you did, is uh, all that stuff is basically becoming worthless. Like it is going to be really, really bad in uh, PvE like you can't do anything with it anymore like it's sometimes like fun to play with these weapons but the year one stuff is going to be messed up 
so for now i wanted to say thank you all for watching if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more videos uh some overwatch videos destiny world war 2 if gta 6 is going to drop i'm also going to upload that uh, I'm, I'm an all around game. I'm not going to upload only Overwatch. I love the game, but I'm also going to upload Destiny because this game is so amazing and I hope I did help you guys deciding on uh, if you should buy it or not. But I'm just telling you guys this is an amazing game and it is an amazing uh, experience to play. Uh, for now, thank you all again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and uh, I will be back tomorrow with another video. So yeah, thank you all and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Golden Age computer.